a lot of the um, customers today I had to move further inside so they're away from the smokers. And also being outside working in it um, on the door, I was affected by the secondhand smoke as well. So yeah, yeah. 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 And like like I said, the majority of people are non-smokers nowadays, and it's frowned upon. So I think everyone will just end up moving on, or we'll start getting takeaways yeah. going onto the street. How will you go about notifying customers of this new policy, and what do you think their reaction will be? To um, I'll probably just try and make a joke of it. Yeah. <laughs> so they take it a little bit nicely, because a lot of people who don't have their morning cigarette can get irritated. But hopefully they'll just have to learn to accept it. Um, I think the council should definitely get more butt bins because otherwise there's just going to be more pollution and everything and rubbish everywhere so they should definitely do something about that otherwise they're going to end up getting a lot of complaints. Yeah that's something that we'll, we'll just monitor as things, as things progress. Um, the only issue that we have had uh, that we've now uh, addressed is some of the local workers were in the habit of going into the causeway and getting coffee. So during their coffee breaks, they go and get a takeaway coffee and they would stand adjacent to the causeway um, and have a cigarette. Especially with the causeway being the first one, we felt that the marketing surrounding it was enormously important. The messaging had to be very clear and we didn't want this to become a big exercise in enforcement either. Um, thankfully, the, you know, look to date, the, there's 100% compliance on this initiative. You know, you don't get that in any area of public policy. In the current council plan, there's a further three zones that will be prescribed in July. I think we need to be a bit more ambitious. I think, um, to be really frank about it, the laneways are low-hanging fruit. We know that people don't want smoking in condensed areas, um, where, as you pointed out, where areas are partially covered. What would you say to businesses who are afraid they will lose business, especially the cafes and dining spots in those lanes? I'd say two things. Firstly, we hear these <laughs> we hear these sort of things quite a bit. I, you know, I'll go bankrupt overnight, the sky's going to fall in, yeah, look, it, it, it's a bit like you know, going out with Ben Cousins, you know, there's, there's this, you know, initial burst of hysteria, then suddenly everybody forgets about it. The businesses in the causeway overwhelmingly supported the proposition, and it, what, what they said back then has been now been proven to be right, because their takings haven't been affected adversely at all. In fact, their takings have gone up. People are returning to the causeway. And, and we'll find this in the other three laneways as well. There were no objections from businesses, or indeed no objections at all. I, I think the aim is to, is to have the entirety of Melbourne smoke free.